1971, officers of the Palo Alto, California Police Department obtained a warrant to search the main office of the Sanford Daily, the student newspaper at the university. It was believed that the Sanford Daily had pictures of a violent clash between a group of protesters and the police. The pictures were needed to identify the assailants. The officers searched the Daily's photographic laboratories, filing cabinets, desks, and waste paper baskets, but no materials were removed from the office. This case was decided together with Burnham v. Sanford Daily involving the district attorney and a deputy district attorney who participated in the obtaining of the search warrant. James Zercher was the chief of police at the time. There is no precedent for affording newspaper a higher standard of probable cause, but the concerns that the dissenters present are that the police will make unannounced searches of newspapers offices around the country. The important role of the press in keeping the government honest is a role that the courts must be careful in infringing upon. There is no precedent for affording newspapers a higher standard of probable cause, but the concerns that the dissenters present are that the police will make unannounced surges of newspaper offices. The important role of the press in keeping government honest is a role that the courts must be careful in infringing upon.